KTFO, the after party show. What's up, hard hitters? Chuck PC Bill's finest here once again. You already know how we do it, hard hitters. The KTFO after party show for Demetri Beaver Art the Bitter BS. And I'ma just tell you how I saw the fight. A lot of people are screaming robbery. A lot of people think Demetri Bivol got robbed in this fight. I don't think so. It's all about what you wanna see. Do you want to see the bull, or do you want to see the matador? I think Arthur Bitterbeer did a damn good job establishing pressure on Dimitri Bivol. Having Dimitri Bivol on his back foot for majority of the fight. Now I give credit to the boxer. Dimitri Bivol, he was establishing his jab, creating distance. The keys to victory. Better BF had looked lethargic at times. But better BF, he was just trying to get in the clinches with Dimitri Bivol. He was trying to stay close to him. Now what I don't understand is, Dimitri Bivol, he was winning the fight with his jab alone. But then he got away from it. I don't know why he did that. It could have been the mental pressure from Better BF. Because he was putting the mental pressure of Dimitri Bivol all night. Dimitri Bivol, he got in the clinches with Arthur Better BF. And Arthur Better BF got the better of those exchanges each and every time. I didn't understand why Dimitri Bivol wanted to fight Better BF that way. I'm going to tell you what lost the fight for Bivol. The championship rounds. That's what lost the fight for Bivol. He clearly lost the 11th and the 12th round, hard hitters. And that was the last thing that the judges remembered. Do I agree with the 116-112 card? No. But I did edge the fight to Arthur Better BF. I was the one who came to the show to see the bull and not the matador. Did the fight live up to the hype? No, but I appreciated the fight for what it was. Congratulations to Arthur Benavidez on being the undisputed light heavyweight champion. The first one of the four belt era. Now let's get ready for Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Here's that KTFO intro if you missed it. The KTFO prediction show will be dropping November 14th. I'll see you then, hard hitters. From the veal to the real, I'm out. Culturally, you versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. I love that. It sounds good. Hey, oh everybody, my listen, God. Continue, Are you listening to this? <laughs> if he's willing to do it, that fight would be gigantic. Good. Who knows where I'd be without boxing. So that's why my goal has always been to give everything I can back to this sport and to help others because I love this sport. It, All that stuff he has said don't mean shit. You never drew 100 million people or 70 million people <laughs> to the fight, have you? Around like 75 million. You never helped boxing before. Boxing helped you. But... That's what the sport needed. Fight. No way. Bro, like, <laughs> shut up. Are you serious? I'm in the Hall of Fame. Where the f*** you been? Kick my ass. Mother fight me in the gym. You just look like an idiot. Like, actually. If you don't kick my ass, you let it go. Got the Mike Tyson, this is the problem child, Jake Paul. Jake, the problem child, Paul! But Snoop Dogg is, is singing the hymns, he's trying to get... Oh, 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 oh. Mama be the problem child, over to be a big problem, Nate oh. Robinson. Ah.
champion of the world tonight making his return to the ring and he is back ladies and gentlemen introducing the one the only mike tyson forward left go with a couple of left now a right a left he's got him down mike tyson sends mike jameson to the mat here in round nothing is doing at this point what i think he should have been doing from the first ball he just took a right down for a and tries to rock right hook so tyson's head Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. 